I'm Mon and welcome back to Don't Cake the Box. Today I have a not a subscription art subscription box for you. It's Upgrade. Um, this is the first time I'm going to op be opening one of their boxes. This is the um, December issue that I back ordered, but it looked kind of neat. So let's get to it. As always, I'm going to give you the very first look. Ooh, this looks all very, very exciting. I'm going to have to open this envelope a little bit towards me because I see that they have mentioned my, my full and actual legal name, which I'm not going to share with you. Top secret. <laughs> Damn, this is hard. Okay, what have we here? A blank postcard, which I might use to swatch on later. Um, some stickers, plenty of stickers. That's kind of cute. Um, a season's greeting card. And then a letter addressed to me. Oh, and it's a list of the supplies, so... Um, go. I will just uh, read uh, these out if and when necessary. Um, but I'm already seeing something that is not listed. So this is probably a one-off, an extra something. It's a pen with Santa Claus on top. That's kind of cute. Could also be just a wizard or a, or a gnome, perhaps. We'll see. To try to carefully open this, but the stickers are kind of tough, so I'm just going to have to tear it open. I'm afraid. Uh -uh. All right, so they promise a lot and you get a lot. This is a huge amount of markers and um, where do I start? Um, okay, I'm drawing, I see some similar ones, so I'll maybe start with those. These are three art line sticks brush markers. I've actually seen these before in other people's unboxings and the neat thing is that you can clip them together, I think. Well, I'm sure you can clip them together because that was the selling point. Um, but how do I do this? 
You do have to be firm, how okay, yes, you have to be firm, however, and then you can pull off the caps and then like do a joint writing or a drawing or kind of neat. I think this is presumably most useful in brush calligraphy. Um, I'm not sure about the color scheme, um, but I, I got a pink and I absolutely love pink, so that's not cool. Swatch later on. Um, ooh, got a pencil, a B pencil. I love bees. Very happy with this. We'll also be swatching later on. We have a Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner in black. Very nice nib. It's a 0.3 S. Also very handy. We've got some more Faber Castells metallics, gold and silver, um, in 1.5. Okay, we will be swatching this later. And next we have, are these all the same? Artline Decorite, water-based pigment ink. Okay. Oh wait, this, this is a metallic, so this is going to be different. This is also a metallic. Three pens with a one, uh, one millimeter tip. We got one pen with a brush nib. We've got one Artline Decorite with a um, three millimeter nib. We have some metallics as well. All have, oh no, it's also different. So we have a copper kind of color with a brush nib, a green with a brush nib, which is coincidentally also the, the not metallic also has a green brush nib, and the red has a one millimeter nib. Um, okay, so these are a lot of different things with all different nib sizes. This is going to be very interesting. Um, so this is the artwork that came with the box um, by co-captain Sonja Stegemann. Is it Stegemann? Stegemann, I'm guessing. Who mainly makes um, digital art. And then in the back there's some background info of this person, which I'm going to read, but not going to bore you with reading this. Um, and then we have some very smooth white paper and some slightly thicker black paper. So four of the black and four of the white. Quite as 
much as I anticipated. I think the red will probably come closest. up of all the things that we got so starting off with the um, with a little bonus pen this is a, a gel pen which I did not anticipate but really really love because I have plenty of ballpoint pens and I don't even use ballpoint pens that much but I love gel pens um, Um, so then we have the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, the Metallic Pit Artist Pens, uh, the Gold Faber Pencil, the Artline Sticks, and then the Art, all the other ones are Artline Decorides, the normal colors with, this is a brush pen, these are uh, uh, bullet nibs, this is a chisel nib, and then here we have another um, brush nib, a bullet nib and another brush nib in metallics. The bottom three are. Um, I can't say I'm I'm really 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 excited now. This is this has been a really really good um, like instead of a prompt they call it a, a, a battle um, and they give you a battle topic and uh, for for December, so not this month, but last month, because this was a back order box. Uh, the theme is Wonderland. Um, so something Wonderlandish. Of course, when you say Wonderland, immediately you think of Alice in Wonderland. And when when somebody says Alice in Wonderland, I can't help but think of. Um, the Mad Hatter Tea Party. So, I am going to draw a hat. Yes, let's do that. But, um, well, yeah, sure. And a basic outline, I'm not sure that it shows up quite well, but um, we have some very covering paints here. And I'm going to just quickly draw the outline in white, so at least you can see what we're going to work with. Maybe make it a
green hat with a flower. Yeah, that's going to be quite nice. I must say it it's a little less opaque apparently on black paper. Just to finish it off, I'm going to give this a small copper colored band. And there we go. All done. I've put everything back and I will be seeing you again next week. Goodbye.